Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding product sales analysis part 1 and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past couple of years. Ok, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called sales with 5 different columns. Sale ID, product ID, year, quantity and price and these are their data types. The combined columns sale ID and year is the primary key of this table. Product ID is a foreign key to the product table. Okay, so basically there is a second table as well. Each row of this table shows a sale on the sale on the product ID in a certain year. The price is per unit. There is another table called product with two different columns, product ID and product name, where product ID is the primary key and this is also a foreign key of the previous table, right? The sales table. Each row of this table indicates the product name of each product. We are asked to write a SQL query that reports the product name, year and price for each sale ID in the sales table or the order of the result doesn't matter. So basically for each of the sales ID in the sales table, we need to return the product name, year and price, right? So for example, in the sales table, we have three different sales, right? One, two and seven product ID, 100, 100, 200. So for this, we need to return uh, so for row one, right? So product ID 100 is uh, Nokia. So Nokia 2008, 5000, then Nokia 2009, 5000, and 200 is Apple. So Apple 2011 and 9000, and this should be our output, right? So yeah, so this is very simple. The only thing that we need to do is perform a join on product ID because product ID is the common column between these, uh, and then uh, we just return three different columns, right? So from this table called sales alias as as let's left join. Why are we doing a left join? Because it is said that for each of the sale ID in the sales table, right? So we need information from the sales table uh, and it does not matter. So, so if we perform a left join of sales table on any other table, so it will keep every row from the sales table, right? So all the sale ID will be included. So left join the product table alias as P on which column are we performing the join on product ID is equal to P dot product ID and then we need to return the product name. So product name is in the product table. So return product tables is alias as P, right? So P dot product name. Then we need to return the year. Year is in sales table. So S dot year and we also need to return the price. So S dot price, right? So let me go ahead and run this. So yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it. Okay. So this passes all the test cases. It runs successfully. And this is how we do it. Very simple question. All we need to do was perform a left join. The only thing that we need to keep in mind is the kind of join we need to do since the question mentions that for each sale ID in the sales table. So obviously we need to keep every row from the sales table. So we need, we should perform a left join uh, and then we need to return certain columns, right? So yeah, uh, I hope this video was useful. Let me know guys if this video is useful and until then I will see you guys in the next video.